like yesterday when I was getting ready to come here. You know, words can be really destructive. When I was a kid in second or third grade, somebody came up to me once, listen to this, and they said, oh, Evelyn, because I was Evelyn then before I was old. And they said, you've got big ears. And I thought, I do, don't I? And let me tell you, I never show anybody my ears after that. Here we are, how many years later? Nothing, I mean, let's just be honest. All my life, I wish that I could be thin like the models, you know? And I get these crazy eyes that I don't know what I do. They're just always gonna be thunder eyes. <laughs> and crazy things like, now that I'm getting older, you know, things are kind of, <laughs> and you do what you can with what God's given you, but it gets harder as the years go on. Hey, hey. Another problem I've had all my life, where I wish that my folks had had enough money when I was a kid to give me braces. Mm. And we were just going, you know, the Lord provided, but He didn't provide for. Braces. So here I am, 52, and I'm still wishing. Oh, I wish I'd had braces because I'm. It's it's a problem. If you get me talking about it, I won't stop. <laughs> Back in September, I was in New York City at the United Nations at a very special prayer summit. Together with my husband, we were for the first time ever in the United Nations. There were more than 250 prayer chairmen from all over the world in the United Nations room where all the ambassadors were. We were there to pray to the Lord Jesus Christ and lift up Jesus' name. Don't forget. 
forget that from your end, you can reflect the real creator, the radiance from him. When you look in the mirror, who do you see? Here's the song that I'm going to ask Beck to come and sing with me. It's all about this reflection that we as women, I think, especially, am I right? I mean, it doesn't matter how old we are. 